So today I'm going to discuss what is a helmet space. So the a helmet space H consists of a set of vectors and a set of scalars which are satisfied the following four properties. So here I'm taking set of vectors, wave function psi, pi and uh, chi and so on and uh, Set of scalars A comma B comma C and so on, which satisfy <coughs> the following four properties. Number one is H is a linear vector space. So all the properties of a linear vector space this must be followed. Second property is so we know already what is a linear vector space. It consists of a set of vectors and uh, scalars which follow some associative distributivity property, commutative property, closure property. So, the uh, existence of uh, zero density of a inverse vector. Those are the properties of linear vector space. And second one is a uh, H has a definite uh, scalar product that is strictly positive. Albert space H has. A defined scalar product that uh, is strictly positive. The first property is in addition the scalar uh, I mean linear vector space uh, the H comes with uh, H comes equipped with An inner product.
So the inner product has the following properties. One is a conjugate symmetry. That is wave function psi equal to psi r pi or we can write these things like this wave function pi and psi equal to I come up by whole bar. This is the conjugate symmetry. Next inner product is uh, inner product has the product property that is linear. So linearity property. The scalar product of a psi with a pi is a linear with respect to the pi, which means wave function psi a pi 1 plus b pi 2 equal to a psi and pi 1 plus b wave function psi and pi and uh, third one is additivity wave function pi psi plus chi equal to wave function pi psi plus wave function pi comma chi and the scalar product of the state vector psi with itself is a positive real number the fourth properties the scalar product of wave function psi with itself is a positive real number psi multiply with itself the psi gives positive real number so this is the where the equality holds only for uh, wave function psi is equal to z this is the inner part And uh, third property completeness of the space. Consider is a sequence
sequence of elements. That is, we, uh, we can say, psi 1 of x, psi 2 of x, and so on. If psi m of x minus psi n of x tends to 0 as m comma n tends to infinity, then we call such sequence a Cauchy sequence. So here the functions psi one and uh, psi two psi three and so on psi n psi n plus one and so on right every Cauchy sequence has a limit point that means there exists a function psi of x such that uh, one limit point is it that is limit n tends to infinity psi n of x minus psi n of x equal to zero then the function is called limit function of this sequence. The vector space is complete if it is contained the limit point of uh, all Cauchy sequence then we can call that completeness of the sequence this is the completeness of the space a vector space is complete if it contain limit limits points of all Cauchy sequence so this is the completeness mean and fourth property is H is separable. There exists a Cauchy sequence uh, psi n belongs to Helmet space such that for every function of wave function of Helbert space and at least there exists one function of the sequence that is called the H is the separable. I can write this uh, H is separable straight here. 
So function minus wave function dn less than e. Okay. So this is called uh, H is separable. Here at least one wave function of the sequence which can exist and that is called the H is the separable. Now I am going to write what is the definition of the Albert space. So the Hellbit space is a vector space H over field. that is that is equipped with a complete inner product So this is the meaning of the Albert space. So, so here four important uh, one is equipped with the complete inner product. So here inner product is there. This is the inner product of the Albert space are equipped with the inner product and this is the completeness solution completeness property the Albert space so this is the definition of the Albert space the Albert space is a vector space over the field that is the equipped with the complete inner product So the physical state of the system is represented in quantum mechanics by the uh, element of Albert space. These elements are called the state vector. So, which is denoted by the wave function psi in quantum mechanics. Albert space is nothing but the state, physical state of the system in quantum mechanics. Generally, in classical mechanics, the, the physical state of system is uh, represented by the position and momentum, right? Uh, whereas in statistical mechanics, in microstate of the thermodynamical system is represented pressure, volume, temperature, like that. In quantum mechanics, the physical state of the system is represented by the wave function that is called the element of Albert space. 